Hello everyone. Welcome to my pocket-sized poems with a prayerful purpose series. While meditating on the words of the poem, the idea is to let the Holy Spirit lead your thoughts and speak to you. It is a variation on the ancient practice of Lectio Divina, which is the art of reading the Word of God with listening ears as well as an alert mind, contemplating the things that the Holy Spirit puts on your heart to bring to the Lord. I have briefly described the process and purpose on this slide. Through prayerful meditation on God's Word, we feed on the fruit of His wisdom, and this is the nourishment we need to negotiate the challenges of this world. There is no greater wealth than God's wisdom. God's wisdom alone will make us truly rich because it is not dependent upon our worldly circumstances. It enables us to see the world and our place in it through God's eyes with an eternal perspective rather than a short-term, self-interested one. Though we would normally do this meditating on the Holy Word of God, I believe the Holy Spirit leads us in our thinking whatever we are reading and can transform that time into a fruitful conversation with Him that is real and rich and rewarding through His reassuring presence and wisdom. My prayer is that this poem will draw you closer to God as you reflect on the righteous life Jesus lived for each one of us. As we acknowledge His holiness and our own sinfulness, may this draw from us a prayer of gratitude for what He suffered for our sakes and gratitude that we don't have to live with the shame of our sin because He has rescued us from the darkness of death and brought us into His life-giving light and love for all eternity. This poem is both a confession of our sinfulness and a celebration of all that Jesus accomplished in his incarnation and his willingness to go to the cross in our place. It is also an expression of gratitude for his continued presence with us through his Holy Spirit as we live in this tension between knowing we are weak and sinful people yet also a blessed people who have been redeemed and granted the wonderful gift of eternal life and victory over our sinfulness. I offer you this poem with a sense of great expectation that you and God are about to have a special time together. I recommend you listen to the poem through once, then pause the video and pray slowly through the poem, letting the Holy Spirit guide your focus, lead your thoughts, and give you the words you need to reach out to God. Again and again and again. It's your life, not your death, that shines like a beacon beckoning me down the slipstream of your saving grace as you plough the turbulent waters in the ocean of my iniquity. It's the light of your life, not your dark death, that draws me on, magnetic and magnanimous, blinding me to the shadow of my iniquity that looms large in my wake. It's your righteous life, not your wretched death, that I reach for in my shipwreck shame, and you reach right back and rescue me again and again and again. I hope this time of seeking the Lord has been a blessing. Ciao for now.